everybody, me again. Um, I'm really sorry it's taken me so long to make another video. Um, I have been a little sick in the last few months and we've also moved house. So you may notice the new setup. This is the white wall for my clothing and there's the dark wall for my white clothing. Um, yes, yeah, so we've moved house obviously and uh, that was a huge, huge move while I'm pregnant. Um, I'll be having a baby next week so I thought I'd take this opportunity before I have baby to give you guys some content. So what I've decided to show you guys today is um, I've got 20 items that I've been drafting up uh, over the last few days. I've put them all over here just to give you guys an idea of what I want to be listing at the moment. Um, and also this is just items that I've found over the last month or so that I've just been kind of picking up here and there. Um, when I get a chance to go to the op shops and stuff, I only have enough energy for maybe 20 minutes in the stores with my son. Um, so yeah, as you can probably imagine, I don't get a lot of time to thrift and shop. Which is probably a good thing because I do have a backlog of stuff to list. <laughs> Um, so yes, update, I will be having a baby next week, I can show you my belly, really, holy moly, there it is, all of his glory, oh goodness, he's humongous, um, <laughs> and so I'll let you guys know, um, with regards to these listings, maybe a month in the future from now, whether any of these items sold and um, so yeah essentially I wanted to show you what I've bought how much I paid and then what I've listed it for and then update you later on how much it sold for I'm sorry my hay fever is just driving me insane okay, sorry about that I just had to um, clear my nose a little bit um, my hay fever has been playing havoc Okay, so what I'll do now is just show you guys, let's just get on with what I said I'd do, hey? Um, so firstly, I picked up an H&M, it's hard to see, but H&M size 10 um, dress. I don't know if I can fit the whole thing in, but here we go. It's just a cute little dress with a front accent um, zip. I paid a dollar for this on the dollar rack at Vinnie's. Um, I grab dresses when I can if they look like they're good for workwear. Workwear always sells well for me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty obvious. So I've put this on for $25, but I expect to get offers of around $20. Um, but I probably would take $15. <laughs> Sorry about my nose. Next up. I bought this for a dollar fifty because it was three dollars, but it was half off. This is an Adidas men's size. Eh, straighten out, size medium. If it wants to focus, and it is just a plain, good old polo. It does have a nice embroidered logo there. Um, the good thing about these polos is they're still popular, and this is a vintage one, so I think. Plus with the colorway, um, I've listed it for 25 however I'll take probably 20 um, and it should sell for around that because I find for some reason that my men's wear doesn't get such low offers, whereas my ladies wear gets a lot more low ball offers. Um, next, I also paid $1.50 for this half off from Salvo's, so it's a port men's. It says size medium, but it's quite small, in my opinion. But I do add measurements to all of my listings. So it's just a cute little, like, sweater. I'd call it three-quarter sleeve. And it does have this sort of ribbing in it. Um, so it's like a striped pattern. It's quite nice. And it's like a creamy beige colour. It's hard to see on the camera. And it does have a little zip. I've got, like, the quarter zips going at the moment. I've listed this one for $20 and I'll probably take $15 and it is really soft like to feel. I know that buyers can't feel it but it feels so nice. 
Um, sorry if I keep looking at my computer. Um, next up, I bought this for a dollar. <laughs> it is a sports craft tweed style jacket. And it's a size 6, but I think it's quite large for a size 6. And it's fully lined inside. It's sort of like tweed. I don't know if you could see the kind of like thick stitching, like woven style. Um, but it says linen. It's like a linen blend material. Got the cute little like tail over there. <laughs> I paid a dollar for it. Um... I'm, I'm guessing it never sold because of the size, it is only a size 6. But I think with a wider audience on the internet, you'll be, be a bit better off selling it. So I've got that one listed for $30. And I'll probably take between $20 and $25. Um, oh and I got that from Vinny's. This is also from Vinny's. So it's a little cute bag. I have a thing for bags even though I've got like 10 that I have of my own for personal use that I never use. <laughs> but anyway, it's a Nautica, um, excuse the reflection, it's like a good American brand but it hasn't caught on over here yet. Um, but it's not real leather, it's PU leather, it's, but it's really nice. It's also got the inner tag. Can get in you can see that um, I paid eight dollars for this so I paid up a little um, but it's like brand new it looks almost like it's never even been taken out of the house like someone bought it never used it I have put him up for forty five dollars only because similar comps there wasn't anything similar as in the exact style of purse but um, sort of like more basic looking ones went for around 45 so that's why I put it up but I'll probably take anywhere between 30 to 40 dollars next I have been looking more and more for newer tags only because obviously people prefer newer tags and it seems to be that it seems that there's a lot more available at the moment Sorry about that, I just had to um, take a drink. I get like a kind of like a tickle in my throat from the hay fever. It's not fun. Anyway, as I was saying, I get more new with tags. So this one's Charlie Brown, size 10. Um, and it's new with tags. And the RRP on this was pretty ridiculous, really. <laughs> 329 bucks. Um, and these are an Australian brand and they're like homegrown I guess you could call it so but it's really cute like it's hard to see the style but it's got these cute bat wings that are open so your shoulders would show through uh, and it's also asymmetrical at the front so it's kind of veers off to the side with this little ruche over here um and so yeah it's hard to explain that when i picked this up for 50 cents guys <laughs> so that dress was 50 cents at a, a little church op shop that i found it's sort of um tucked away that no one seems to visit for clothing <laughs> i always seem to find really nice clothes there um, but they only ever have one rack of clothing and it's always out the front so i'm surprised no one sees it Anyhow, picked it up for 50 cents and a similar dress sold for 139 So that's the exact price that I've put mine up for. However, I'll probably take literally anything. <laughs> if I get an offer of maybe $80 or around there, maybe even less, I'll probably accept it to be honest um, because I only invested 50 cents. <sighs> Next up, I've been looking more into vintage clothing and because it's harder to find. So we've got a Warner Brothers Movie World. These are the Gold Coast ones. It is an XL, but it's the vintage style Looney Tunes 
front and you can see the graphic is pretty cool it's really clean really white nothing wrong with it um and it's got all the favorites you know bugs bunny taz so i think someone would love this and i've popped that one up for 20 dollars and i'll probably take anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars next up yeah another um brand that has been standing out lately for my sales is disney so i always look out for disney so i've got a disneyland hong kong size xl um oh sorry and the last one i paid two dollars for and that's another church thrift shop that happens to be down by the hospital where i go for my visits for baby stuff anyway this one was um where did i get this one i think it was a salvation army but i can't remember quite but yeah wouldn't have paid more than two dollars so this bad boy is really nice and black with green and it's polo and it's got your Disneyland Hong Kong on the front. Really nice condition, looks like no one even worn it. Still really black and I expect to get, what have I put this for? $40. So I put it up for $40. I've actually sold similar polos um, for around $30 but it was women's. So I'm hoping the men's will get a little bit more money. However, I'll probably take around 30. So I'm trying my hand at some more kids stuff as well. Um, so this is a Zara Kids, or Zara Girls, but it's a Disney collab. So we've got Zara Girls, Disney, size is six, but it's this vintage little Disney Mickey Mouse. And who doesn't love Mickey Mouse? So I've popped this bad boy on for $15, but I'll probably take 10. And I think I paid a dollar for it, but I can't remember. Sorry, but I wouldn't have paid more than $2. I try not to pay more than $2 for anything. In the same sort of theme, we've got Zara Girls 9 and 10. And this is also Disney. And it's just these really cute Mickey Mouse print denim shorts these look like they were never worn or they were very well taken care of for a kid's pair of shorts considering they're white <laughs> there's a cute badge with Mickey um, so yeah I'm really pleased that this is still in such good condition and I've put that up for 15 I do remember I paid two dollars for this one though. and that was at uh, Salvation Army uh yeah fifteen dollars but i'll take probably ten i'm trying my hand at other things other than just clothing um so what i've got here is a men's tie <laughs> i grabbed it because it's volcom so you know volcom it was 50 cents thought i'd give it a go and if you look on the back it says i don't know if my focus is working but it says the stone necktie volcom stone corpo class collection i looked it up there's not really any similar comps but there is some comps for volcom vintage tie there's only one <laughs> and it was like for 50 dollars or something crazy um but i've put this up for 20 bucks because it's just really unique and it's vocal and I'll, of course i'll just take offers between like 10 to 15. <sighs> so this is also from the thrift shop um that i mentioned which has the 50 cent rack just one rack at the front the church one so this one is just a big W brand, so it's Peter Morrissey, size medium, but it's a men's dress shirt and it's new with tags. So yeah, big W wanted, what did they want, $34.72 for this, but I'm only asking for $20. So if um, I take, I'll take an offer of $15 or around that 
but mostly for men's where I've noticed men don't really make offers as often as ladies we like a bit more of a bargain <laughs> so yes um, next up this is a really cool find I got this at um, the thrift shop down the road from my doctor's where I go for my baby visits and it is a Harley Davidson it is hard to see the um, size tag on it I couldn't find the size but I'm guessing it's a medium to large yeah um, anyway it's really vintage looking I couldn't find anything like it it's but what I understand, I've deciphered it, <laughs> it's an evil leprechaun and it's green for St. Paddy's Day or something like that because leprechaun plus green plus there's all these like, um, you call that like Irish knotting, yeah, and obviously there's really cool Harley Davidson emblem there. Plus you've got stuff on the back, which is just the logo plus Cairns Australia Harley Magic. I love this shit. But obviously I need to sell it. <laughs> um, there's literally nothing else online like it, but I'm only asking 35 I don't know if I should put the price up, but we'll see how the watches go. Um, next up. <sighs> yeah, lots of... Um, really different pieces that I wanted to just sort of share with everyone just to show you guys other options other than your bread and butter other than um, what I'm used to selling so this is an Australian grown so it says Australian grown extra small it says extra small but it probably fit me um, and it's a tazzy devil with Tasmania written on the front, new with tags. The RRP is forty-four dollars, but I paid a dollar, and I expect to get thirty dollars. Okay, I'll put thirty dollars on it. I probably take twenty, but I thought since it's such a cute graphic, and also it's new with tags, and I couldn't find anything similar, maybe I'll get my thirty bucks okay next up was I actually paid up five dollars for this so I hope it's legitimate but I have no idea how to tell um, but it says Prada so Prada made in Italy new with tags a really busted tag mind you <laughs> but the tag seems quite legit as well um, but it's just a basic men's t-shirt with Prada on the front and there's a little red tab as well at the side Ooh, if I can find it so help me guys if this is fake I better take it straight down but I can't tell it feels so soft like Pima cotton almost I think it's real but <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble sorry about that I had to take another drink um so yeah i'm putting it up for 60 dollars because there's actually nothing similar and that sold recently and there's nothing brand new with tags so yeah 60 bucks is what i'm asking <laughs> tell me if you guys think that's too high or if it's fake <laughs> next up is another item that is new with tags as i said before i've been looking out for these I don't know the brand because it's actually a German brand, but it's forward. I don't know if my focus is working. Um, you can see it written all along there as well. Um, but it's a really cool sports shirt that says Russia. Whoop. Dropping it. And I like the front, if I could get rid of the tag. It has like this patch. Plus over here has a patch really cool like i don't know if it's the russian flag or something i'm not sure and then the back 
has a really cool dotted eagle and that's um i did find something similar but it was a singlet and it was used um and i think it was going for quite a bit of money so i've put mine up for 50 dollars this one here um i paid two dollars for this so hopefully 50 is right <laughs> it's hard to tell when it's like a um like a brand that i don't know and also there's not many comps to go on i don't know if it's the new glitch with ebay with the whole sort of deleting soul information i'm not sure anyway so back to some of my usual brands actually um this is one of my bread and butter items to be honest seed heritage size 14 but it is different because it's like a soft cotton jacket it's really pretty it's not as white as the camera's showing it's more like a yellow like a off white creamy yellow um yeah i don't know if the camera's picking the color up not at all but it's really nice and it's like wine inside what feels like almost like linen but it's not I've put this on at $40, but I'll probably take an offer of around $30. That's what I usually expect. Okay, sorry about that. I just needed to clear my throat again. Um, it has like this tickle and I just can't stop coughing. <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about, but it sucks. Anyway... Uh, this is a basic item that I thought I'd just chuck in because it's cute. So it's Forever 21. Oops. It's a size small. But it's just like a little plaid shirt. I thought this was really cute. I think this is in style at the moment. And I've put that on for $15. So that's like my bread and butter kind of style there. However, I do try my best to find unique or more hard to find brands. Another bread and bread and bleh, another bread and butter item uh, here. It's Country Road XL. Can't quite see it, but anyhow, it's really nice merino wool, a hundred percent Australian merino wool, and it's like a little wool jumper. It does have like a grey stripe. It's harder to see from a distance. And it's really good condition, no little holes or anything. Um, I expect, oh what, sorry, I paid a dollar I think from memory. And I'm expecting to get around 25 for that one. And if I don't get 25 I'll probably take 20 or 18. But yeah, this isn't like random... Thing that I thought I would try and sell so I've never heard of the brand it's Toby Black um, also known as Black Cat I think because it says Black Cat on the buttons and then Toby Black is stitched in so it says Toby Black and it's got all these little kitty cat things like little charms and it's a skirt right but it has a built-in like overalls thing so I guess you'd put like a crop top under this or something and rock that I would expect it be for sort of like gothic kind of people or fans of cats um, but I thought it was really cute anyway and the back's got pockets or a pocket with stitching and it's like little kitty cat ears but yeah, um, there's the logo for the brand's label. It's really cute. I've put this up for $20, but who knows? I'll probably take an offer because it's so random. No one's ever heard of it, and it'll be amazing if anyone looks it up. <laughs> so that's the 20 items that I've drafted and I'm going to take photos of over the next few days. Um, 
obviously if you guys have any thoughts just share them on my comments down below um i could show you guys a few things i picked up the other day that i thought were really cute but i grabbed this because it is so freaking retro it's not even funny <laughs> it's a windbreaker right <laughs> Do you remember your Nana wearing these, like, for real? <laughs> oh my goodness, so cute. It's, um, B.I.B., size medium, but I think B.I.B. stands for Big and Beautiful or something. Or Big is Beautiful, from memory. But it's, like, the coolest floral design. I never come across these windbreakers, like, ever. So I thought I just had to pick it up. I think I paid five bucks though, from memory, so I did pay up a little, but I think it's worth it to have such unique items in my store, just to keep people looking, you know. Uh, everything else I paid a dollar for, because it was all out on the dollar rack. So this is Canterbury. Here's Canterbury, size 12. The shop that I know that, um... The one that I'm mentioning, Vinny's, that has the dollar rack outside. They, like, mark with, like, vivid or pen on the labels. And I've tried to wash it out before. And it doesn't come out most garments. But sometimes it will. But depends what pen they use or something. But this is, like, really cute little sports or hiking shirt. It's got vented material for the underarm. And, like, so it's a bit more breathable. But it's like brand new. It looks like it's never been worn. Got a yeah, I paid a dollar, I don't know. I'll probably get twenty bucks or less. Give or take. This one was a dollar. I have sold this brand quite a bit and it's not expensive. I, I think it's about a fifteen dollar dress. But it's wish. Can't really see it. Come on, focus really hard to see I'm not sure if it's the lighting in here it's really quite dark uh, but it's wish size small and it's a really cute dress so it's like a little party cocktail dress black at top and it's like this like ruched material and it's all paneled I wouldn't know how to explain it <laughs> it's fully lined and I paid a dollar I'd expect around 15 for that dress Next up, I grabbed good old Country Road, size 8, little black shorts. Shorts for me have been doing well all year round, doesn't matter if it's sunny or not, <laughs> they sell. So I always pick up good condition shorts, these look awesome. They have like a shine to them, I don't know, they're not, they're not like PU leather or anything. They're like a denim, but they have shine. Don't know how to explain that. Paid a dollar. I'll probably ask 15 or 20 for those. And I grabbed probably the same person donated these, but Country Road size 4. Paid a dollar. Little, um, what, like casual khaki pants. They're really cute. Oh, uh, sorry, shorts. <laughs> Not pants. Um, they are quite tiny, but I think they'd fit a size 8, really. If I match them up to the size 8. Oh no, they are quite a little bit smaller than the size 8. But again, 15 to 20 for those shorts. Paid $1. I paid a dollar for this, so if I could find the label. So another good brand, actually is W Lane. It is a mall brand, but I do sell it when I put it up. So it is a dress. It's sort of like a little um, boho dress or whatever you call it. Prairie. Loose fitting. Um, it's lined. It's cute. I like the pattern. Just like forest pattern. Um, paid a dollar, I think I'll probably get around 25 for that. And then, 
I thought I'd get this bag. <laughs> so it's a good old Slazenger. If I could open it up so you can see the label properly. Slazenger. All the buttons match, or like the tabs have Slazenger. And it's like got this old school surf logo here. It's vintage. And I thought I would use this bag for my hospital bag for when I have baby. Um, and then sell it when I'm done. Because it's quite a nice size. It's not too big, not too small. I just need to find a little strap for it. And I'll be good to go. So I hope this hasn't gone on too long for everyone. I'm really sorry about all the breaks from my sneezing and coughing and just horribleness. I hope to be well by the time baby comes along, which is next week, Friday. <laughs> um, yeah, and I just really thank you guys for following me and thank you for watching my videos. If you guys have any suggestions for content, please just leave comments below, I don't mind. And even if it's not in the next month or so, I'll get around to it eventually. Um, once I'm feeling a bit better. The next video I did have planned was actually to show you guys how I managed to move house and move all my inventory with me. So how I made that quite an easy transition that I never lost. I didn't have to put my store on hold and I didn't have to worry about late shipping. I got everything moved in one day and it was a smooth transition and I'd just like to share how I did that next time. Other, other than that though I don't have any other plans for videos at this stage but I do plan to do more hauls in the future. I do plan to go down to Melindina and get more of those bulk bulk lots down in the um the bins down there. Um it's just all a matter of when I'm comfortable to take baby out with me and um obviously once I'm well enough. So yeah. <sighs> Thanks again and I hope you guys enjoyed this content. So yeah. Thanks guys and I'll see you again next time.